you. Evening. Good evening, Eduardo. Ovidio. Good evening, Prefe. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, fine sir. Good. How was your day? Mm, not so busy. But, mm, what? It was a quiet day? Yes, yes, a quiet day. day. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Is there any day during the week that is uh, busier than others? Mm, yes, for me, Monday, teacher. Okay. Because I need to to give uh, to my boss uh, some reports, very important reports, and it's a uh, uh, a little difficult difficult uh, to to work uh, early in the morning to pre to prepare them, and it's but it's okay. It's okay. not uh, so complicated for me. <laughs> okay, good, 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 nice. So on Mondays, do you wake up earlier than usual? Uh, yes, I prefer it. Yeah. At, um, approximately five, no, uh, ten to five, to be at the at the work approximately six and uh, six six uh, six a.m. Yes, approximately yes. Yeah, that's early. That's early. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, good, good. But it's, it's good. All right. Ovidio, how was your day, Ovidio? Uh, 
O video, video. Okay, Celia, how was your day? A little busy. A little busy. Kind of interesting. Yes, kind of busy. Yes. Okay, good. Carrie, how was your day? Hi, my day was good because I will have four days of vacation since oh, tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and why do you have this early vacation, Carrie? Because I I have 15, 24, no, 21 days of vacation this year. Okay. At, I couldn't take it. Okay. So I asked for at least two days <laughs> good. Good. and have a long weekend. <laughs> nice. Very nice. good. That's good. That's good. How are yeah, you? Yeah, I really need it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody needs it. Yes. Yeah. How was your day, Eduardo? Well, uh, was, uh, was okay today. I didn't do too much. I stay here in, in, in in the city. It All didn't right. Go up. Good, good. That's okay. All right, good. Arnoldo, what about you? Uh, well, I was a little bit busy, but everything okay. Good. Guillermo, what about your day? Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. I think it was good teacher. So I'm working from seven to five, and actually, before uh, class, uh, well, I, actually in the evening I went to the National Theater. Oh, so they were mm, playing cool. a symphonic orchestra. If, can I say that? Yeah, that the orchestra, yeah. orchestra, orchestra, orchestra. Yeah, orchestra. Yeah. Uh huh. They were playing uh, some musical. Okay. Pieces and I went to my wife. It was very interesting. Good, good, Ooh. nice, nice. How much time uh, was the play? It lasted uh, like 45, 50 minutes, okay. something like that. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 nice. It was a piece from Tchaikovsky. Mm, good. Classic music. Good, good, good. Yeah, classic music. All right. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, it's right here, I hope. See if I can open it. I'm using a different computer that uh, I don't know if I'll be able to open this email. Uh, uh -huh. Let me see if I can open this. The one that I usually use was acting up. So, oh, really? yeah, teacher? so, let me see if... Teacher? Yeah? Did you cut your hair? Did I cut my hair? No. <laughs> no. No. No, oh, I... Papi, why? <laughs> uh, I it's went, good. Yeah, I went to the barber shop last Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, last Friday. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so reduce time clauses. This is the one. Yeah. Oh, your kid. Yeah. Please show us. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's, he's always um, <laughs> asking me questions. And he's like, he does it so naturally. You know, and I tell him, look, if you see me speaking in front of the computer, it's because I'm teaching. I said, okay, yeah, that, yeah, that. And a few minutes after, they come and ask me things. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you remember the reduced time clauses? Reduced, ha, have you gotten to this part? Uh, okay, a reduced time clause is an example of what we have there. Can you see my, my screen? No yet, teacher. Oh, not yet, okay, sorry. Not yet? Okay, that's why. 
Give me a second, share screen. Right here. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, yes. So, okay, so that is a reduced time clause. Now, what do you understand by the word reduced? To make it faster, subject. anything? Okay. Yeah, in shorter. this case, exactly. To shorter? Make it, to make it shorter. shorter. So in this case, if we're talking about speaking and you make some, something shorter, uh, the result is that you will speak faster. Yes. So yes. Uh, when you're talking about reduced time clauses, uh, you need time expressions like after, like the example that we have here. After I finish my work, I head to the office. Or after finishing my work, I head to the office. Uh, what is the opposite of after? Before. 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 So if we use the first option, how do you say antes de levantarme? Before I wake up. Before I wake, Before wake, up. I wake up. How would you say the same thing using the second example? Before, Before I after. waking up. Waking Before up. Waking Before up. waking up. Exactly. So if you use uh before i wake up you need to include a personal pronoun if you use the ing form of the verb then the personal pronoun disappears right yes so you say yeah. right after you say before if you want to be uh if you want to be a little bit more exact and you want to say it right after or right before you know, like justo antes, justo después, um, any of those four options, you do have the chance of changing the form of the verb. Yeah, yeah. Is it clear? Mm, this, justo antes, justo después. Okay, let me give you an example right here. Uh, Right after I cut my hair, what would be the most logical thing uh, after someone cuts his hair? Hey. Uh, right I after take a shower. I, watch, I take a shower. I, uh, I wash my oh, hair. Okay. I oh, I, I took a shower. You know? Okay, I take a shower. Okay, so there you have it. Right after I cut my hair, I take a shower. I right? Cut my hair or takes... after cutting my hair, after. right after cutting my hair, I after. So once again, yeah. the action is exactly the same. The difference is uh, the first option, you use the regular, uh, the, 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 the base form of the verb. With the second option, you use the ing form, the, the, the gerund form. Any questions here? No, it's clear. Okay. I, right after I cut my hair. So this right is after cutting my hair. This is right. always always in the present tense. Uh, no, no. You, you can, can use in any. Okay. Yeah, it it can be used in different tenses. So so you can say, um, right after I cut my hair, uh, mm -hmm. I went to the house, or right after mm -hmm. cutting my hair, okay. I went to the house. So you can use it in different forms. Mm. How do you say, después de cortarme el pelo, me voy a ir? Uh, after her, I, I will leave. Uh -huh. I'm going I'm to leave. leave. I'm, oh, going I'm going to leave. To leave. I'm going to leave. I'm right. going to leave. I'm going to leave. I will leave. Uh, so that's an example of using the same uh, reduced time clause in, in the future. So you can use in it in different future. tenses. Yes. Do you remember how many tenses we have in English? How many tenses do we have? 
Uh, night teacher. Past participle. We have 12 tenses. 12. Oh. 12 tenses. Okay. Okay. No, Any questions? Different tenses. 12 tenses. Okay. Uh, give me one minute. I need to. I need to go get the charger of the of the computer. If not, it's going to, it's going to die. Give me a second, please. Okay. okay. Pueden tocar. Sí, está cerrado. Toque el timbre. Está bien decir si está cerrado, toque el timbre. Sí, sí. no suena pesado. No. Si está cerrado, por All favor. Right. Por favor um, toque el timbre. Any questions about reduced uh, time clauses? No. No? No, it's, it's good. It's okay. So just, yeah, it, it's just a, a, an observation that whenever you're using a, a, a time clause, like after, before, right after, right before, uh, you can use the verb in two different forms. Okay? So... Mm -hmm. Let us go to the next one. Now, this is a listening activity. Oh, and once again, give me a second. Uh -huh. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. All right, downloaded. All right. So I'm going to play this audio. Pay attention to it. Um. Where's this right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so after you, um, after we listen to the audio, you will have to decide which of these three people, Sean, Liz, or Victor, they think that they have too little time. You will have to decide which of the three people think there is too much traffic, and you will have to decide which of the three people think that he or she has too many responsibilities. Got it? Yes. Here we go. I'm gonna put you on silence so we don't have any interruptions, so. See this here.
right here. Here we go. Chilling out. B. Can you hear the audio? No, very well. Okay, can you guys hear the audio? No. No, no teacher. No, sir. We cannot hear. Okay, give me a second. What about now? Listen to Sean S. Le yes. Yeah, no, we can do yes. Okay, here we go. Lisa L. and Victor V. talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. One, Sean. You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. Okay, volunteer to um, paraphrase what he said. What did he say? He said that he is alone and he's a little bit stressed because he has to go shopping, uh, do laundry, and he miss his family, so he usually call his family. Okay, good. And also that he didn't appreciate her mom, his mom. Right, exactly. You know, that usually happens when you are, uh, when you are not that old maybe, uh, that we don't appreciate our mom, we don't appreciate our dad, you know, but when we grow up, we're like, oh my goodness, you know, what was I missing? So, okay, anybody else wants to say something about the first person? No? All right, here we go with the second one. Two, Lisa. I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work and we have two small children. So we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. All right, what is her situation? Anybody? Uh, she's saying that, hi teacher. <laughs> Hello. Uh, she's saying that um, her husband and herself are get they get stressed after maybe a long a long day at work mm -hmm. as the kids right so they decide to go out by themselves and they leave the kids with friends okay and before and i think that um when she said it's okay but it's okay like before anyone else thinks that they doing wrong by leaving the kids with other people. <laughs> okay. I think she emphasized on that. <laughs> okay. And they know that they know each other, so it's okay for them to leave the kids with someone. Okay. 
And, and who is this other person where the kids uh, usually stay? Betty. Betty is her good friend. Okay. That uh, her, her kids and the kids of Lisa are very good friends. They know and... each other. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so let's check the last one and then we'll go to the questions. Three, Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but as soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. All right. Now, what can you say about this last person? He stresses <laughs> with the traffic. Okay. And, he, and he prefers to leave uh, very early uh, okay. before that the traffic uh, is, uh, is um, uh, how say? Crowded or before traffic is, is yes, get heavy. Yes, okay. He okay, anybody else wants to add something? Mm. Uh huh. He doesn't okay. like to live outside the city, I guess. <laughs> Out <Okay>. of town, <laughs> all right. His, his family lives in a suburb, um, in a town, something like this. Okay, all Go right. Ahead. Okay, so which of the three mentioned that there is too little time? Sean, Lisa, Lisa. or Victor? Lisa. Lisa? Yep. Who, who mentioned that there is too much traffic? Uh, Victor. Victor. Victor, and too many responsibilities? Sean. Sean. Good, good. All right, good. Any questions? about this exercise no no that's the nope. hospital Rosales, right yeah that's hospital Rosales, <laughs> right uh, what year do you think that picture was 1920 yeah i think it's 1930 20. something like at the early 30s mm -hmm. i think i think yes for the yeah. cars. Yeah, the cars. Yes, the cars. The cars. There is a bus also. Right, mm -hmm. there, there is a bus, you know. And, and that's why if you pay attention to uh, your grandparents, you know, they say camioneta, making mm -hmm. reference to public transportation because in the past, they did look like camionetas, you know. Oh, uh, yes. That's why. But now the El Salvador is so different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so let's go to the listening, se the speaking section. Can you see the questions? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. We're going to be talking about the first time uh, you had a car, the first time you had a job, the first time you used the internet. Uh, let me see this here. Uh -huh. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? <laughs> okay. This one and send it to you guys. Now let me make the pair work. Go here, create room, and here we go.
Rosie Bell, can you hear me? Weather tonight. Yes. And the sky. I love the sky, you know, and we can you can see a lot of stars because of the wind. You don't have many clouds. Mm, it's, a clear, yes. it's, it's a clear night. I, I like it. Yes, yes, you're right. Let me let me get the the, the question. Go ahead, please. I, okay. Okay, I have it. Claudia. Okay. When when was the first time you <laughs> yes, when you are connecting to the to the internet. I don't know. When was your when was your first time? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, <think> you know. <laughs> don't remember very well. I think is is when I I I was doing or doing the the my work for graduation okay yeah i think it was for me first of all was at school but it was just for the class but then when i was at the at the university Okay. Second says, when was the first time you went to the cinema? What did you see? Okay. Mm. Uh, most years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I was like five years. Five? And I, I went to see Katy La Oruga. Uh, <laughs> I went to the cinema and I I saw the, the Superman. Superman, okay. <laughs> there was a there was a cinema nearby my house. So I went to, to my with my father and see Katy. I saw Katy La Oruga. What? Was is the the cinema? The name? The name? Uh, Astor, Cine Astor. Astor oh, is yes. San Miguel. Yeah. Yeah. No, as no Fausto. No, the Astor. No, Cine Astor is just Area Norte. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I went with my father, and I I had uh, that moment so present in my mind. Right. I was seeing that movie. <laughs> Right, right. And what year was that? I was five, five or six years, so it has to be like 1983. Oh, okay. or four, like that. Okay, all right. You sound very young. Yeah, for my voice, but I know. I'm 33. <laughs> <laughs> Just my voice. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and when people look at me, they say that they don't think that I have that I I am twenty three. They say you maybe have thirty five. I say thank you. I have that age. Okay, good. <laughs> Three hours. Okay. Every day. <laughs> well, in my case, I I don't remember very well, but I think I was like uh, fourteen, fifteen, I think, and well. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother bought me a cell phone, but to be honest, I didn't have anyone to to call. So I just ah, I don't believe yes, you. I just had the phone, but I didn't call anyone. Ah, what a good boy. <laughs> um, well, number very long time ago. A long time ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, sure. When was the first time you used a mobile phone? <laughs> well, a mobile phone, I guess it was when I got my first job. I was okay. like 
18 or 19 years old. I have Very, uh, very sad. Very sad. The movie I remember, uh, but okay. was it's was my Oliver, first experience. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist. Uh, Charles Dickens. Beautiful, beautiful movie. But I I remember. Beautiful movie and beautiful. Uh, Do you read the book? Uh, yes, yes. I read a lot of books when I was uh, in the college, and yes, I rem I remember. I read I read it. Good. And I watched the, the, the movie, uh, I think, after. And I enjoyed a lot uh, watching the the, the actors. Uh, very good, very good. And my Great. dad was Great. very kind. Okay, let me see. Number three. When was the first time you used a mobile phone? Who did you call? <laughs> <laughs> What about uh, <laughs> a mobile phone and maybe oh, oh my gosh maybe <laughs> I was uh, around 18 years old I, I guess and mm -hmm. and I called maybe one a, a friend I think I, I <laughs> just trying you know I have my I remember I have a, a guy next to me and and we say Hey, come on, try this <laughs> thing and see what happens. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like no. just to try. I, that yes. was around 22 years ago, you know, it's a lot of time. <laughs> I remember I received my first my first phone at the in in my job because I I needed to uh, communicate with the other plants of the company. And uh, for the for the managers, uh, the we need the, uh, to to have uh, the cell the cell phone. And I remember my first call was uh, to my to my dad and my yes to my parents was very yes exactly. great. Wow! How many years ago? Approximately, let me see. Let me see, 15 years, 19, no, 2000, 2001, yes, approximately, no, 18, 18 or 19 years, yes. 18, 19 years, yeah. Yes, I, I, yes, yes, I, I was beginning in this company in, it was a, a gift for me that, that in, in the moment that I received the, the phone. Right now, okay. uh, we, we have, we, all the, the managers have phones, but in that case, in, in my first time, I uh, was uh, very ama amazing to, to have a, a cell phone. Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, number four, uh, what was the first time you thought life was great? What happened? Mm, a mm. nice question. <laughs> it's a nice question. Um, the first time that I uh, saw the complete, uh, I don't know how to say, talonario. Let me check. Talonario. Checkbook. Checkbook, okay. So when check I... Uh, when I, I saw all the checkbook and they give me a money for that. Wow. I was like okay, 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I, I... Okay. Uh, the number seven. When was the first time you, you told the world was a dangerous place? But, nah, you uh... should. <laughs> Yes, and I think uh, a situation could be when I was in Guatemala because I was mm -hmm. in a camp in there, but I, mm -hmm. I went with my aunt, so I was not really alone, but it's mm -hmm. like, yes, 
that was the only moment I think. She didn't give you any any free time. Uh, well, actually, we were separate, uh, so we didn't see each other too many times. Uh, yes. It was kind of uh, being alone over there. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Guatemala is really good. I really like that country. That uh, Yes, country. Yes. Uh, well, number five. Back in the days, it was, I mean, it was not so dangerous like it no. is nowadays. Yes. Yeah. But I think that, it, I guess it was like when I was also like 14 or 13 years old. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let me see the next question. I think that... Uh, <laughs> didn't exist the white band so we had to use a telephone the the, the line of the telephone ah yeah it's true to get connected yeah the 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 modern made a noise noisy it's like the fax machine the fax machine and you can you you can uh, the only you can uh, don't you can uh, mm -hmm. be uh, uh, look uh, for at the college uh, for the good um, a, um, how I say this in Peños? let me see uh, all the all the best students in Performance. performance, yes, performance teacher. And I was one of them and oh. was very exciting, believe me. Great. And my parents uh, were very proud uh, of me and I I was feeling very good and very proud too. <laughs> yes, it was my, the first time that I consider life is great. Excellent. Okay, was great. Okay, uh, let me see number number five. Okay. When was the first time you traveled alone? Where did you go? Mm. That is like I don't know what flew. Ah, bolé. When was the first time you flew? What was it like? Like at um. When is, uh, is the piece is, is the similar with the similar, number uh, other? Yeah, so the, the I don't know what was uh, uh, the, the number, number five, five uh -huh. when you travel alone. Yeah. And this one is when the first time you flew. I was mm -hmm. like 16 years, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I'm really, 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 really bad for for, for flights. <laughs> no, I get sick. My stomach can't handle. Uh, but, um, there were some people. I, I, I well, I used to work uh, around a Beethoven. ¿Cómo se llama? Redondel de Beethoven. Fuente Beethoven. And over there, around there, there are many, many dangerous places. And used to. Um, I uh, stole to the people and at that time I realized that that were uh, a lot of uh, that, that that were dangerous on the streets oh uh, yes, yes yes and yes. sometimes we don't really care about that until the situation happened to mm -hmm. us um Yes, and until you you are alone in in some dangerous place. Yes, and well, in my case, uh, uh, people have stole me like my phone, but I didn't realize when that happened. But I think a situation that I really mm -hmm. realize uh, it worries and sometimes. Uh, you can be in that kind of situations. I think was when I was actually 
I'm not sure about this. Um, you know, when I was a uh, teenager, I can remember that in here in El Salvador, there was no, there wasn't too many gangs or they, they didn't have too much presence here, but I can remember that there were some, some guys that were sitting in the corners asking for, uh, Bolones, pesos. Bolones, yeah, un colón or something like that. Mm -hmm. And if you say, no, I don't have, they get angry and started to bother you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that it was the first time I felt that the place was a dangerous, the world was a dangerous place, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay. So, and then question number three says, what's the first time of your phone? Who did you call? Hmm. The first time I used a mobile. Hmm. I remember uh, that at work, the people from, I don't even know what's the name of the company, that they went at work and they offer us like, you know, uh, special rates if depending on how many people want it but it was really expensive yes yes and you have um, to they charge you for the minutes and things like that <laughs> yes i remember my first time was uh use i used uh, a mobile phone where by in 1996 or 95 mm -hmm. because i i moved to a house mm -hmm. that uh, no 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 service uh, no telephone service uh, allowed so so we we had to mm -hmm. we had no choice we had to get a a, a oh. mobile phone <laughs> and that was as expensive and the the the, the telephone was uh, big and heavy <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah you, you use be. it and you use use it only for hello, how are you? Fine, okay, okay, nice to hear you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no long chats. No, no, no. The the telephone only for for a call, only for for telephone call. The battery runs uh, yeah, only for really four or five hours, and. Mm -hmm. You had to, to, to recharge immediately. <laughs> yeah. uh, the next question is, when was the first time you thought life was great? What happened? Mm. I think everybody thinks life is great when you're a kid. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> you don't have nothing else to do but to eat and ask no. for things. <laughs> no, no, nothing to to worry about. Yeah. Yes, I totally agree with you. And this next question says, when was the first time you travel alone? Mm, my first time, I think I was like 10 years old when I traveled all by myself from here to Los Angeles. Uh, okay. And you? When I when I in a job in I had uh, years ago I I traveled to Costa Rica twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the your first time. Hmm. Uh, traveling alone, yes. Okay. Uh, when was the first time you had you had some real money? 
How did you feel? <laughs> uh, I get had some real money is maybe when you're when I think they're trying to say like you earn by yourself, right? <laughs> yes, it's, it's when you get you got your first job. Yeah. <laughs> you get your first job, yeah. Yes, in my, my first real job, I earned, earned it uh, one thousand. Wow. So I feel, wow, I feel rich. amazing. <laughs> rich. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody feels the same when you get your first check payment. <laughs> yes. Me too. Single, no kids. Just for yourself. <laughs> just, just for yourself. Yes, yes. I. Uh, uh, doing very good uh, workers, and I love them. Uh, I consider, I appreciate a lot uh, this kind of people. Believe me. Yes, I understand, and and and. It's Maybe the, the, the most or one of the most important things in, in this situation is that the people uh, have experience, right? Uh, because if yes. you only study, you don't have uh, some experiences uh, at the end of the day, and that could be a problem. So you provide you provide electricity to Del Sur. Yes, Del Sur, guys. Guys, okay. You are a you are a, a supplier of the of of them. Yes, they yeah. uh, okay. have. We took the electricity uh, since the generators and we, we, the tiny and uh, up to the, the, to the station near of the, the cities and give, give the electricity to the, the distributors. Distributors, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, distributors. Yeah, distributors. Okay. Is it difficult to pronounce distributors? Yeah. Okay, we have to. All right, any questions or comments about the conversation you guys were having? No, it took me several times back. <laughs> right, all right. There are times that you know like, uh, okay, here's the topic, talk about it, and then you go back uh, in time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, any questions or comments about the questions? No. No. This was a good topic. Yeah, it brings you back in in in, in time. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It was very very great. Yeah, yeah. I have good memories when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, when I was a young adult. Now that I'm not that young, so all my <laughs> life has been really uh with, with nice memories nice memories the best time of our lives yeah <laughs> yeah you know and usually the best times the best histories you have like you didn't spend any money you know so then you yeah. start, <laughs> so life puts the magic the right teacher in the scenario yeah right. okay all right so let's do some listening questionnaire uh, I'm going to dictate four questions. You copy the questions, you listen to the audio, and you answer the questions. Do you guys have pen and paper? Uh, or give maybe me a yes, second. Teacher. Uh, yes, a second. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, sir. How do you say pasaje in English? Or what word you can passage. use? Passage. Passage. But you can passage. say it uh, when you are talking about the uh, town. I mean, yep. uh, for example, I used to live in a passage. Or... Oh, yeah, yeah. 
in my case, my mother's house was in a passage. It was not oh. Main Street. It was in a passage. Oh. Passage. Okay. Okay. Passage. passage. Thank you. Yeah, passage. I was looking for, for that word. Yeah, <laughs> passage. No, uh, thank you, sir. All right. Okay, you guys ready for the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, ready. question number one, which department is he in? Which department which is he in? Department. Mm -hmm. Question number two, what does he do there? What does he do there? There. Question number three, what's the worst? What's the worst? I don't know. What? Mm, we what's didn't get it. Worst? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Okay, what is the no. worst? The worst what? That's it. The when you listen to the audio, you, you will think. The worst. The worst. Okay. Uh, What's the worst? Okay. Teacher, we losing you. Okay. All right. Give me a second. Okay. What was the first question? Which department is he in? Okay. Which department is he in? Okay. Is he in? All right. That's the first question. What is the second question? What, what does, does he do there? He do there? Okay, what, what does, does he do there? Okay, what does he do there? What is question number three? What's, What's the, the worst? worst? Okay. Okay, what's number the worst? Four. And the yes. last question is, why does he say it's tedious? Why does he say it's tedious? It's tedious. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Why does he say it's tedious? Are the questions tedious. clear? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put you on silence so we don't have any interruptions. Let me do this here. And here we go with the audio. Can you hear the audio? No. Okay. Kind of low. Okay, right here. Okay, what about now? Questions one through three. Can you hear it? Yes. Yes. All right, yes. here we go. Yes. Good. Listen to part of a discussion between two friends. Hey, Sammy. How's your job at the library working out? You're at the university library, aren't you? Yeah, it's great. I've been working in the acquisitions department. Oh, what do you do there? Logging in new books, mostly. It's kind of neat because I get to open all the boxes that arrive. Boxes containing all the newly purchased books. It's kind of like a birthday, unwrapping presents. That sounds like fun. That part is, but then I have to enter each book into the computer. I don't mind that too much, but the worst, <laughs> the worst thing is attaching the barcode on the cover. That can get kind of tedious, you know, just doing the same thing over and over again. One. What are the people discussing? Okay. Which department is he in? Acquisition. 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 Acquisition department. Yes. How do you spell acquisition? A B A Q U U I S I T I O N. Yes. Acquisition is right there in the chat. Acquisition department. Oh my goodness. Uh, acquisition, acquisition, right. What does he do there? Anybody? He buys some new books. Okay, so if I'm a librarian and I'm in charge of receiving the, the new books, 
what is my next step? Login books? Yes. Something. Yeah, to, yeah, register. to register the books. To register the books, yep. Log, log. Okay, logging in, new books. Yes, logging in. Okay, logging in, new books. What's the worst? Attaching the barcode to the cover. Good. Attaching the barcode, barcode on the cover. Yep. Got it? And why does he say it's tedious? Because he has to do it every over and over and over and again. Exactly. Very good. Very good. All right, people. Um, any questions or comments about today? No, sir. No, no sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place. Thank you. 9 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Good, good night, night, everybody. everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good night. Good night.